Do you want early access? Do you want uncut reactions? If so, then check out our Patreon. Link in the description down below. Well, we found out who the culprit is. That blue-haired demon. I mean, she literally just just came out and just started swinging. Giant bowling chain. Yes. And we figured out what the sound of the chains was. It was her with her giant ball and chain basically just taking Subaru out over and over and over again. Well, at least twice that we know of. Potentially a third time, I mean, because... Probably three times, yeah. Yeah, he's probably going to die again. He's going to wake up and he's going to be staring at her and like... It's like, I have a request as your guest. Throw away your ball and chain. <laughs> what? Throw away your ball and chain right now. I don't know what the hell Subaru's going to do, but he's he's got he's going to have to think fast if he wants to not die. I guess we'll your request should just be like, I would like to request that no one in this immediate vicinity tries to murder me in the near future. Or ever. All of a sudden, it's just like, rim. Inhales, inhales sharply. We got the episode queued up here. This is uh, part two of episode four, the director's cut. Uh, Natsuki Subaru's restart. Here we go. <laughs> Oh. 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 Yeah, I had a feeling there was no way he was going to be able to outrun her. Oh, yeah. She took his leg. あ、<笑><笑> <笑>俺の心はいつでもエミリアさんのものだ。え、誰どんな条件で雇われているんですか。魔女教の関係者ですか。知らねえよ。そもそも so she's just crazy, basically. Well, I don't think she's crazy. I think that she's... She's just paranoid. And... お客様、お目覚めですか。お客様、起きてたの。すべて自分だけで変えようと<笑><笑><笑> Wait, what? Oh no, is there a is there a thing where you can't tell anybody? Oh shit. Oh no. He's forbidden to tell. That sucks. Like, whatever is probably behind why this is happening to him in the first place. Maybe. Maybe the witch. I don't know. He's defeated. Oh, まだ。はあ。魔女の匂いなのよ。嫉妬の魔女か。今の世界で魔女と言われてそれ以外の何がありえるのよ。どうしてその匂いを俺から感じる。さあ、何せよ魔女から特別な扱いを受けるお前は厄介者なの。お前
ってないのよパックに言いつけんぞ少しだけ思ってることもあるかもしれないかしらあさっての朝だその時間まで俺を守ってくれないか何時の願いを聞き届けるベアトリスの名において契約はここに結ばれるうんけのわからない頼み聞いてやるかしらあと兄ちゃんに告げ口したら許さないかしらはん<笑>ですでも、ブースカと寝てるんじゃないかしら。ボンボン約束の時間だから、いやいや来てやった。よっかみに居眠りとか、マジで命知らずのアホか、俺。ぶつぶつとうるさいかしら。お前、それで。質問ばかりで、こううるさいのよ。少し黙っているがいいかしら。You are in a library. At least he knows how to read now. 読んでる。呼ばれているかしらいれば安全かしらだけ遠いって思い込んでたのに。ああ、そうだ、ひざき。わあ、あかんばれいる。あめでとう、フィッテッヘッドゴン。ヘッドコンプリートゲッツ。Turned into soup. I'm not going to stay in there. That's the most thing. I'm not going to go. So, I'm going to go to the house. 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 What happened? So stiff. Namu no imota ni sawa na nae de. Shinwa sui jakushi da ne. ほどしかし、君が身を張って守るほどとは、よっぽど彼が気に入ったのかな。知っているなら全部話して。ラムを、エムを、助けて。あ<笑>あ。<laughs> What's he supposed to do? I mean, look, he's he can't tell anybody. He is completely trapped be in, a, in a rock and a hard place. No matter what he does, something bad happens. Either、mm -hmm. he dies or Rem dies. And, if, and the thing is, because they're so untrustworthy of him from the start, Rem and Rem, they're not going to believe anything he says, no matter what. This is. Someone's gonna catch up to him. I think it's gonna be Ram. I think Ram's gonna catch up to him because she's out for blood.、Oh. I'm just gonna end it himself, which is probably gonna restart him again. It will. Ooh. Nah. 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 He doesn't strike me as the kind who would be. It's not the fact that he, he's not brave enough to do it, it's the fact that his self preservation is much higher than his willingness to end, to end it all. It's probably going to stand back up and start to turn around, and somebody's going to show up and push him. Yeah. Probably Ram. I wouldn't doubt if it was Ram because she's the most hell bent on getting him. 
どうして来てくれたんだ俺はお前の身の安全を守るのがベティの交わした契約なのよボディーガードは今日の朝までって話だったはずだが話をした覚えはないのよ、うん、せめて目の届かないところで死んでくれないと夢見が悪いかしらお手を誰かが握ってくれて。ラムレムこんなやつらだったとしたら俺は放っておけんのが絶対に殺してやるゾウに満ちた声を聞いた手が消えてくれない<笑>もともと俺は楽な方へ楽な方へ流されやすい立ちなの拾った俺の命だだから楽な方に行きやすい方へそれを目指して何が悪い出しすぎたのよバイイエーやっと見つけた Now she's gonna kill you ほんとに人生の最後に一回だけでいい本気でそう思う猫とだらけなのを知っていこうとそう思ったよ今さら何を何かができるなんてかっちょいいことは言えねえ俺が一番分かってるただ俺は覚えてんだ、まあ、肝心なことは何にも知らないまんまだだけどお前らだって知らないだろうが何をがお前らを大好きだってことをだよ<笑> Oh no. Damn. See you soon. He should have also yelled, in, Sorry about the nightmares. Sound effect. <laughs> I know there was nothing that was supposed to be funny about that, but it was just the sound effect of choice. All right, so apparently he's going back to save Rim, and、uh, also, I guess. It's really of... something after the betrayal, as well, you know? Yeah. I don't know, dude. There's... I'm hoping that he's able to figure out. What he needs to do to get Rim and Rem to, to actually like, tolerate him to the point where they don't try and kill him. As well as not die. That too. I would say the biggest thing that he needs to do is if I'm him, I am not only seeking employment, but I would also ask to learn about magic. And, like, how to defend, like, a proper training with a sword or proper training with a weapon of some kind. So that basically you can make it just say, I wish to learn magic and I wish to,、uh, wor I wish to work for you. And not only that, but I also wish to learn magic and proper we、uh, weapons training because I want to be more, of you,、uh, more used to this house. And not only that, but I want to be able to protect Amelia. That's what, he could, that's what he could aim it as. And then he could get to know Rim and Ram. Maybe Rim and Ram could teach him magic. Maybe the head of the house can teach him magic. Maybe even Beatrice can potentially teach him magic. I don't know. Maybe Amelia can. Maybe Puck. I don't know. There's, there's a lot of things that he hasn't tried yet. Because he, he tried the freeloader,、uh, the freeloader route, which only got him basically killed in the same way. But. Also, got him tortured because of his freeloading nature and everything, and he didn't get to know Rim and Ram. Whereas the way that he died previously, I'm not sure. Like, keep in mind, he, this is the, the fourth time he's died. The first time he died in his sleep, the second time he was taken out by,、uh, he was taken out by Rim, third time he was taken out by Rim. 
And now this time he dealt with himself. Actually, now that I think about it, wait a second. The first two times, we don't know who 100% killed him. I think we're to extrapolate that definitely Rim killed him. I guess. The second time because of the chains, and the chain sound was present when before she appeared. I the guess. Chain there. Yeah. The first time, I don't know. There's no sound of chains. It's just him dying in his sleep. The first time, it might have been the same cause of death as what just killed Rim. Maybe. Maybe, because dying in the sleep. Yes, dying in the sleep. That could be the key to understanding what happened. I don't know. There's uh, guarantee there's going to be some stuff that they're going to bring up in the next. Well, he episode. knows somebody's using a curse, probably. So he needs to like look into like counter curse things in the library. If if it were my opinion, that's probably where I'd start. Yeah. But he has plenty of loops to try plenty of things if he comes back again, or at least you know. I mean, there's always a thing in the back of your mind is like, what if this is the last loop I get, you know? But at the same time, it's kind of like, if I'm not satisfied with the way it works out, I can always try for another loop and hope it comes, you know? Yeah. So, I don't know. I don't either, but... I would read up if I were him on, like, counter curses as well as possibly, like, people being stuck in loops that they can't tell anybody about in case there's, like, some kind of magic that could cause them to be like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now I'm starting to think that the possible. Witch of Envy is possibly behind why he's in the world as well as going through loops. Basically, I would tell people, just be like, I'm afflicted with a curse of some kind. I am forbidden. I, I can't tell you about it. And it's just like, I want to, but I can't. Like, that's the, like... It's like there's, I would just be like, there's something about me that I'm not at liberty to talk about because something bad will hurt me very, very badly if I do. Like, it's something terrifying. I can't explain it, and it won't let me talk about it. So you just have to trust me that that's a thing. Basically. And it's like, it's both yeah. it's both a blessing and a curse in a way. Yeah, blessing in that, you know, you revive, but a curse in that, Nobody remembers mm -hmm. except for you. You're basically by yourself in that. Yep, that's it. Gosh, well, this uh, this episode was really good. I liked it. Uh, answered some questions, raised other questions, and honestly, that's I think that's all it really needs to be. So until next time, everybody. Signing off. I'm Nate. I'm Nick. Y'all be good people. We'll see you in the next one.